My name is Ward. I'm 17. Do you like participating in various sorts of challenges? It seems like a harmless hobby, but it often leads to the terrible consequences. I'm not very popular. I almost don't have any friends, and good-looking girls don't have crushes on me. In addition, my mom and dad are teachers at my school. On the whole, my parents are everywhere and keep total control. My life is not at all fun. Mom is super proper in everything and a real fanatic for healthy eating. From morning to evening, I chew on broccoli and despise my life. Sugar and Coca-Cola are under a special ban. But recently, I got a chance to stand out. The coolest guy at school, Glebe, organized a challenge after school for high school students. Who can drink the most Coca-Cola? It was for his blog, which was quite popular. I was invited so they could laugh at me as I'm always proper and never drank Coca-Cola, but I agreed to participate. We got together near the school. Seven guys would take part while everyone else would watch. I wanted to finally show what the quiet ward is capable of. Glebe turned on the camera and started the countdown until the start. I attacked the Coca-Cola, drinking one bottle after the other. For five minutes, I didn't stop drinking Coke. And I won, having drank five liters. One more than the second-place competitor. I rejoiced, then understood I was losing consciousness. Falling, I felt my head hit the concrete ground. I regained consciousness in the hospital, with an IV drip attached and with bandages around my head. The doctor said my sugar level skyrocketed. They hardly cleaned me out. In addition, I had a craniocerebral injury from the fall and having hit my head. Mom and Dad were really worried, but at the same time were upset with me. They made my diet even stricter and prohibited me from drinking Coca-Cola for the rest of my life. Honestly, at that point, I didn't really want to. But then, strange things started happening with me. I didn't want Coca-Cola, but I did want water. I was constantly drinking and couldn't stop. The thirst was unbearable. At first, Mom was happy for such a good habit, but then began panicking. My desire for water became uncontrollable. I couldn't spend five minutes without water. I felt like if I stopped drinking water, I wouldn't remain alive. And all after this damn situation with the Coca-Cola, it got to the point that I kept the fact I was drinking 20 liters per day secret from her. I felt like a bubble that was just about to pop. Water gurgled in my stomach nonstop. I also constantly went to the washroom. But my desire to drink didn't go away. My mouth was like the Sahara Desert. And I drank and drank and, importantly, almost didn't eat. Finally, my mom suspected something was wrong and took me to the hospital so I got checked out. There was a huge cooler with water out in the hall, and I poured many cups of water into myself. You probably think I should have been enlarged from drinking 20 liters per day. In actuality, I felt completely okay. Just that the thirst had become an obsession. The first day at the hospital, I had a dream, as though I was really young and drinking Coca-Cola nonstop, and also that I was yelling and calling for my mom. It was all very strange and blurry, but from that day on, nightmares began following me. And while the doctors tried finding the cause for my dependence on water, I suffered from the same exact horrid dream over and over. On the fourth day, I couldn't stand it and complained to my parents that I have nightmares in the hospital and I want to go home. But instead of pity, they took me to the local psychologist. There, I found out who I actually was. I told her about the Coca-Cola, the water, the nightmares. I just couldn't stop. That's just how much of it was kept boiling inside. But when she began asking questions, it ended up that I couldn't recall anything before the age of five. I tried, but my head hurt. I really wanted to drink. I went to the cooler in her office and drank cup after cup. I drank approximately four liters of water. The psychologist was shocked. She left to talk to my parents in the hallway while I continued drinking due to the stress. Another liter, and another. 
Then she came in with my mom and dad. She explained that all my dreams are memories of my early childhood and that it was time for my parents to tell the truth. Otherwise, my nervous state would not go away. The truth? I choked on the water. What truth? This is how I found out that I'm not Ward, but Rob. I was adopted. Did you ever think you could be adopted? I didn't. And of course, I was put in a state of shock. But if being honest, this wasn't the scariest detail of this whole story. I found out I didn't end up being adopted for nothing. When I was three and a half, my parents were deprived of their parental rights. And the whole reason for it was Coca-Cola. When my adoptive parents first saw me, I almost didn't speak and was scared of people. I was a little wild because of my mother's distinct departure. With my father, they spent all their money on alcohol. So that I didn't cry and ask for food, she constantly gave me sweet Coke. One day, she gave me so much I ended up in intensive care. I was intoxicated. Like this time. They pumped it out and deprived my parents of their rights. Then I drank water like a crazy person. As before, that Coca-Cola had replaced water for me. This is why my adoptive mother was so attentive to my diet. Maybe this is the reason for my rabid thirst now. I spent another day in the hospital before receiving the analysis, but they showed something completely unexpected. My dependence on water was not a psychological trauma. In reality, the production of the hormone vasopressin was disrupted, which regulates the level of fluid in the body. It caused diabetes insipidus, which means I would have to undergo lengthy treatment. Do you think that it was all because of Coke? No. Just that, because of Glebe's stupid challenge, I fell and got a craniocerebral injury. Because of the strong hit, the production of hormone was disrupted, as it is produced by the pituitary gland in the brain. Jesus, it had been better if I never took part in this stupid challenge. Who knew that this small decision would completely change my whole life? Have you had the same thing happen? When one little thing changed everything? Share it in the comments. By the way, I did become popular. Glebe's video, where I drank five liters of Coke, got one million views. What do you think? Can we beat dumb Glebe together with this video? To do so, give this video a like and subscribe to the channel.